Hi, boys and girls. I have a pretty silly story for you today. It's called Wordy Birdie, written by Tammy Sauer. And I have to share the back cover with you because the back cover is what caught my attention. It says, hi there. You will never guess what just happened to us. Should I start with the part about the forest, the bear, or how much I love unicorns? The raccoon says, and that's why her name is Wordy Birdie. So let's check out our story, Wordy Birdie. Yay, you're so close to the story right now. Just turn the page. She's very excited. I am too. Well, we are in a pretty good book. Wordy Birdie, written by Tammy Sauer. Meet Wordy Birdie. Wordy Birdie has lots to say. It starts the moment she wakes up. See? Hello, sunrise. Hello, pink sky. Hello, orange sky. Hello, yellow sky. Hello. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Sometimes Wordy Birdie talks about what she likes. I like spaghetti and unicorns and library books and polka dots and standing on my head and sometimes she talks about things she doesn't like. I don't like tall grass or turtlenecks or long lines or tuna salad or losing my balloon or, and sometimes she just asks questions. Why do zebras have stripes? Is Bigfoot real? Are we there yet? But she never stops talking long enough to get the answers. Wordy Birdie is not the world's best listener. Oh, please, are we talking about the same bird here? Okay, okay, Wordy Birdie, Wordy Birdie is terrible at listening. That's more like it. She never listens to anybody, even when she should. This one time, I totally went swimming with a narwhal. My third cousin, Barb, is a penguin, really. Do you think there's an award for the bird of the year? Fact, people used to think the world was flat and you could fall right off the end. One day, Wordy Birdie takes a walk into the deep woods. Naturally, she has plenty to say. That's a pretty tree and that's a pretty danger sign and that's a pretty tree and before long, Squirrel zips in front of Wordy Birdie. Stop, do not go any farther. Does Wordy Birdie listen? She does not. Ooh, a pine cone. Ooh, a sign. Ooh, a rock. Ooh, a leaf. Soon, Rabbit dashes onto the scene. Go back while you still can. Does Wordy Birdie listen? She does not. Yay, my favorites. Strawberries for me and carrots for me and tomatoes for me. Then Raccoon gives a piece of advice. Run for your life. Does Wordy Birdie listen? What do you think? Whoa, it's getting darker and darker and darker and darker and looky there. White circles and triangles. I love white circles and triangles. Roar, 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 roar. Oh, do Squirrel, Rabbit, and Raccoon just leave Wordy Birdie there? We do not. Come on, follow us. This way, and Wordy Birdie. She listens. Hooray, that was almost unbearable. We made it. Then Wordy Birdie says thank you the best way that she knows how. I love you guys. Like I really, really, really love you. Seriously, I love you more than spaghetti and unicorns and... Wordy Birdie still likes to talk a lot. See? 
Good night, sunset. Good night, orange sky. Good night, purple. Woo! Good night, you. But sometimes Remember when we totally saved you from that bear? We were brave and amazing and that was so cool. She likes to listen too. Now that's what I call a good story. I'm going to read it again and again and again. And then she'll repeat it approximately 523 more times. This is true. Yep. Well, boys and girls, I really enjoyed that story. I thought it was pretty silly, but I also loved that it was a great story about some friends that helped a friend out when they were in trouble and that Wordy Birdie learned to listen to others too. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did and can pick out your favorite part of this story. See you later.